Hello all. thought I would do a quick review of some of the contactors I've picked up along the way. Um, I'll put the model numbers in the description. I um, thought I'd give you a kind of a demonstration as to, you know, the difference in sound and feel. Um, as you can see, the size varies from each one. Um, if this is the first one I got and uh, it did not work out very well, or at least not what I expected. Um, this is the most recent one that I got, uh, and my plans is to use these ones in my cabinet. Um, these were these are two Alan Bradley ones that uh, were actually sent to me, complimentary, um, from a particular eBay seller, I don't recall the name offhand. Um, he sent me just one of each. They're two different models. They're, uh, I think one is just a slightly newer model than the next, or the previous. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you what uh, kind of noise these guys make. So the 700CF, which I believe is the newer model actually. Um, let me go ahead and just show you. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea. Um, here's the next one. So let me compare it real quick. So personally, I like I like this one the best. That's the 100 C09D10. Um, I like the sound it gives. Uh, I got to do a little bit more research, but from what I've read, and it's been pretty difficult to find out what the coil current uh, draw in this and these coils are. But um, from what I read, these ones likely may pull more than 500 milliamps. Um, so what I'm thinking is I might have to hook it up to a relay. Um, I have a relay board, so I'm thinking I might use this one for uh, a knocker. It, it makes a good sound. So here's the Siemens. Um, this is the 3RT10151 BB41. So <laughs> as you can see, uh, I've put a little electrical tape over the positive terminal. Yeah, um, that was my own fault, uh, not paying attention. Accidentally shorted this thing out and it uh, almost fused this wire right to the terminal. So yeah, don't do that um, Anyway, let's uh, let's give a comparison between between these two Okay, as you can still see, it's this is definitely louder. It's kind of what I was expecting right from the get-go. Uh, what to get? Um, you know, one thing that uh, I think it was Boogies, Boogies too said on his review was he got this the same Siemens model uh, right there, and he noticed that when you flip the flipper real fast, sometimes it doesn't quite activate. And that's one thing about this one is that it's worse, if you could say that. Um, I'll, I'll try to flip it real quick. It just doesn't... That's about the fastest you can get, and on this one, you can get a lot faster. Um, Alright, let's do the last, review the last model. And this is again the first one I picked up that also they're all 24 volts. Um, so honestly, being 24 volts is not really enough. You have to do a little bit more reading, I guess. Um, the only difference I think here between these models is I think this is kind of a pull type. I think the switches actually come down. I haven't taken one apart, so I'm not 100% sure. But based on this little red, this little red switch right here. Um, that moves down as opposed to this one which moves sideways so uh, here let me go ahead and do it and show you I 
between this one. And this one. And this one. So apologies for my uh, poor camera work. It's it's tough to hold the camera and do all this. Um, personally, I'm not liking the 700 CF all that much. Uh, these were used units, so it is possible that this one's just, you know, older. Um, this one really has the kick I'm, I was looking for. Um, who knows, I might even get another one and just use them for flippers. Um, we'll see. But anyway, hope that, hope that gives you guys an idea. Uh, again, I'll put the model, model number and everything in there. Alright, happy hunting.